Chapter 1 You are listening at NovelFull.audio The Richest of the Rich Translator Henyi Editor Jules Nye in this world, there was no shortage of people born with silver spoons in their mouths, and Wang Ling was one of them. But he was the richest of them all, and with his birth, he almost overturned the whole of cultivation society. In a plainly decorated family apartment, Mr. and Mrs. Wang rocked a baby carriage with loving smiles on their faces. I can't believe how, in a blink of an eye, our sweetie has grown so much. That's right. It's also our Ling Ling's birthday today. Darling, did you prepare any gifts? Of course I did. Saying this, the middle-aged man surprised the woman next to him by drawing out the long and thick magic treasure that hung at his waist. This tough and long magic treasure, richly adorned with fantastic gemstones, was truly dazzling to the eye. Mouth slightly open in astonishment, the woman stared blankly at it. What is this? A Chanel flying sword. Father Wang looked so proud as he boasted, it cost me a full half dot year's income to specially buy this gift for our Ling Ling. Until now, not a single person in our Wang family has managed to reach the golden core stage. Darling, this sword represents my hope for Ling Ling. In this world where cultivation and modern science were perfectly combined, the diploma had completely given way to the realm system, and had become the new criterion for determining one's degree of education. The pitiful Wang couple had never graduated from the physical build stage, and remained stagnant at this preliminary stage. This Chanel flying sword, which was classified at core formation level, was worth cities. Father Wang had gritted his teeth and bought it at the risk of tightening his belt in the coming days. However, sucking on a pacifier in the baby carriage, Wang Ling only gave the sword a cursory look out of the corner of his eye before contemptuously giving it the cold shoulder. This was the first time he had seen such an ugly flying sword. What dumbfounded him the most was that this man actually put such an unsightly sword near his pillow, and even kept on saying that it was for warding off evil spirits. What a pile of shit. Hadn't the four dot olds dot been abolished two thousand years ago? This was the scientific age of cultivation, where the hell had this feudalistic remnant come from. With a completely speechless look, Wang Ling stretched out a hand less than a quarter of the size of Mr. Wang's, and directly snapped that unsightly flying sword in two. That year, he was only one year old. After Wang Ling broke the flying sword at the age of one with his bare hands, the Wang couple directly complained to the Bureau of Quality Supervision about being sold a shoddy product by an unscrupulous businessman. There was no way a mere baby could destroy a core formation flying sword with just his hand. At that time, Wang Ling's parents had erroneously assumed that they had bought a fake Chanel flying sword. It was when Wang Ling was three, and the couple witnessed their son flying around the room skillfully on a small children's wooden sword, that they realized that they hadn't bought a fake Chanel sword. Instead, they had clearly given birth to a fake son. As muggles that had stagnated at the physical build stage for years, no matter how they racked their brains, the Wang couple just couldn't figure out how they had managed to give birth to Wang Ling. Was it because of a genetic mutation? Or had some critical steps been skipped during Wang Ling's creation? But all these weren't important. More than anything else, Wang Ling's parents believed that he was God's gift to the Wang family as the chosen one. Because Wang Ling's parents pretty much had shit for brains, he managed to lead a peaceful life from zero to five years of age, which was when he was the weakest. Otherwise, Wang Ling thought that under normal circumstances, he would have been sent to a human research institute as a test subject a long time ago. Maybe he could still appear on that popular television show, Approaches to Science. Wang Ling realized that his realm advanced with his age, but this wasn't accompanied by the great waves he had imagined, nor any exaggerated anomalies in heaven or on earth. On average, he achieved a new realm once every two years, and even he himself didn't know why this was the case. So that his aura wouldn't be exposed, Wang Ling drew a talisman based on something he had found in an ancient text and stuck it on his right arm. Thanks to the talisman concealing his aura, he was able to lead a peaceful life for many years. 
Wang Ling was 16 years old this year. His high school life had come faster than he had imagined. To disguise himself as an ordinary person, Wang Ling tended to keep a low profile in his daily life. He wasn't looking to enter any of the key city high schools, and instead chose to study in a normal public high school, number 60 high school in Peiyuan District, Songhai City. Wang Ling came to school in a plain white shirt and jeans. He looked around. Apart from some carved sculptures at the school's front gate, their features no longer distinguishable, as well as a handful of palm trees in the surrounding area, the school was even more ordinary than he had imagined. If this had been an out dot and dot out key city high school, all the trees in the school grounds would be those that could gather spirit energy. Also, there would even be an enormous spirit gathering array under the school, so that students would be attentive and refreshed in their studies all the time. But such a spirit gathering array would be utterly useless to Wang Ling. Because of his much higher realm, not only wouldn't he be able to feel its feeble spirit energy, it would also be very easy for him to destroy the magnetic field of the array. Wang Ling adamantly didn't want to be the reason for jeopardizing other people's prospects, which was why he had chosen a relatively normal high school. Although it seemed to have a fairly crude environment, overall, he found it very satisfactory. This place, at least, would be very good for hiding his true prowess. Today was a meet dot and dot greet for new students at number 60 high school, and also for them to undergo a placement test. Before new students officially entered the school, the school authorities needed to grade each student. Based on the results, they would be streamed into the different classes. Elite, Advanced, Normal and Remedial Wang Ling stood in front of a liquid crystal display screen, and following the directions on it, looked for the class where he would be doing his interview. Given his style, there was no way he would enter the conspicuous elite class, which would massively increase his risk of exposure. However, entering the remedial class would also be a little degrading. Taking everything into consideration, it would be best for him to choose the advanced class or normal class. Dot, excuse me, do you know the way to grade 1, class 3? Suddenly, there was a sweet voice behind Wang Ling. He froze for a second. Although he had felt the girl's aura from afar the moment she had walked through the school's front gate, he had obviously never expected that she would actually take the initiative to talk to him. With just a cursory glance out of the corner of his eye, Wang Ling could see that she was pretty good dot looking. Are you also here to enroll today? Not getting a response from Wang Ling, the unfamiliar girl kept on asking questions as if they knew each other. She was elegant, with long hair and fair skin, and wore a tight dot fitting white tee. Shirt, jeans and casual shoes. Wang Ling only needed to use a little bit of his spirit energy to immediately determine her actual strength, she had all the makings of an elite student, and definitely wouldn't be his classmate. But as chance would have it, Wang Ling's interview was going to be conducted in the same room that the girl had mentioned, grade 1, class 3. Still without saying a word, Wang Ling pointed at a classroom nearby, which was grade 1, class 3. Right after that, he casually strolled away, hands in the pockets of his jeans. Chapter 2 You are listening at Novel Full. Audio. Huaguo Water Curtain Group Translator. Henyi Editor. Jules Nye this was the first time that Lotus Sun had taken the initiative to start a conversation. Unexpectedly, the other party hadn't responded at all. She felt that this boy in a white shirt and a refreshing crew cut had a completely different style to the frisky lowlife dot types that she usually encountered. Rather than a proud and aloof air, he had a special aura and a strong sense of mystery about him which had caught Lotus Sun's attention at first glance. This classmate, are you also doing the interview in grade 1, class 3? Classmate, may I know your last name? Along the way, Lotus Sun tried her best to become friendlier with Wang Ling. However, his poker face never changed, and he showed no intention of responding to her at all. This was really embarrassing. This was the first time Wang Ling had given directions to another person. If he and Lotus Sun hadn't happened to share the same destination, he wouldn't have even bothered to raise his arm. 
He really hated interacting with other people, especially once he had reached the soul formation stage the year he turned seven. He had mastered the ability to read minds, and was hearing people's inner voices all the time. Since then, his ears had never had a moment's peace, especially at night, if he didn't put in earplugs, he probably would go insane. Just like with Lotus Sun, who on the surface looked like she was just trying her best to break the ice between them, Wang Ling could very clearly hear what she was thinking. She was wholly unhappy with his indifference. To be honest, Wang Ling felt that it was a waste of her talent to study in number 60 high school. With her strength, it wouldn't matter which key high school she went to, she would definitely be in the elite stream. Lotus Sun's reason for coming here was completely opposite to Wang Ling's. Wang Ling went out of his way to hide his status, while Lotus Sun had racked her brain for a way to emphasize her presence. In a key high school, top students were a dime a dozen, and standing out wouldn't be easy. But in an ordinary environment like Number 60 High School, Lotus Sun felt she would definitely be able to showcase her presence. She had never expected that just as she entered the school, there would actually be a boy who would turn a blind eye to her. Damn it! Was this blockhead gay or something? Wang Ling had never expected that just as he entered the school, he would actually attract a girl's attention. What a shitty situation. At this moment, the two people walking abreast of each other could not help but sigh silently. The enrollment interview was just like the placement test that had been used hundreds of years ago. It was aimed at determining each student's rank without prejudice amidst massive student numbers. Having said that, students who could enter number 60 high school were all already at the foundation establishment stage. But the stage was further divided into several levels. While there seemed to be just a narrow gap between early and late foundation establishment, the difference in overall strength was very large, and students on both ends in the same class were bound to clash with one another. In the relatively small classroom, three examiners sat in a row. There were also a number of other teenagers already present who were all there for the interview. Wang Ling walked directly to the back of the classroom and slipped into the most inconspicuous seat there. The instant Lotus Sun walked into the classroom, her movie dot star looks caught the eye of all the teens, and even that of the three examiners. The men in the classroom, young and old, blushed in spite of themselves. Even a few of the girls dropped their heads shyly. My name is Lotus Sun, we're going to be schoolmates from now on. I look forward to your guidance. Lotus Sun had always been both a man and Lady Dot Killer, and enjoyed being in the spotlight. Bowing naturally and gracefully, she tossed back her beautiful hair and gave an easy and confident smile. The only thing that dissatisfied Lotus Sun was Wang Ling's damn unchanging poker face. In this world, how could there be a man unmoved by her? In her heart, she started to think of a plan to capture Wang Ling's attention. On the other side, the three examiners were astonished after Lotus Sun introduced herself. Sunday Sunday Lotus Sunday One of the male examiners had a stunned expression on his face. Which Lotus Sunday don't tell me it's that Lotus Sunday. Another examiner hurriedly flipped through the interview materials for the candidates that day, and in the end couldn't help swearing. Holy shit. The eldest grandchild of the Huaguo Water Curtain Group. Lotus Sunday. That was the Fortune 500 company that made its name selling elixirs. On the other side, a silent Wang Ling heard what the three examiners said, and frowned suddenly. He had already guessed that Lotus Sun's identity wasn't so simple, but he hadn't expected that she would come from such a powerful family. His plan was to keep a low profile, which was why he had chosen a relatively ordinary high school. Who knew that even before school officially started, he would already encounter such a huge headache. Dot Wan Ling watched as Lotus Sun smilingly came over, directly drawing up a chair to sit next to him. He was speechless. Why the hell would the eldest granddaughter of a Fortune 500 company come running to such a mediocre high school to prove herself? Or were the rich second generation nowadays fond of moving around incognito? Wang Ling closed his eyes, directly ignoring the way Lotus Sun was making eyes at him. Anyway, 
as long as he was careful not to reveal too much of his real strength, he should be able to get rid of this annoying person without a hitch, right? Wang Ling didn't want an obsessive maniac staring at him non-stop in class the whole day. A moment later, the voice of one of the examiners sounded from the dais. The interview is about to begin. Everyone, please prepare yourselves. For all senior high school students who were at the same foundation establishment stage, the enrollment interview wasn't as complex as they might have expected, and was mainly about testing their strength. Scientific research had shown that it was not as difficult to reach the foundation establishment stage as one might have imagined. As long as a person had adequate nutrition as a child, along with a bit of innate skill, it wasn't hard to achieve this stage. Of course, there was also one extraordinary freak in particular who had advanced at a rate of one stage every two years completely without the help of elixirs. Unlike the one couple's generation, which had suffered from a lack of nutrition, almost every child in urban areas nowadays had access to all kinds of healthcare products from a young age. Things like Diamond Partners and Brain Gold, popular brand that name healthcare products that enhanced a person's cultivation base, increased intelligence, and built up the physique, were all produced by Huaguo Water Curtain Group. But the reliance on supplements to enhance one's foundation had also created the worst problem, as the common saying went, gold and jade on the outside, rot and decay on the inside. The threshold for entering the foundation establishment stage was already low enough, yet the school couldn't be certain whether a student's true strength actually matched the stage. This was the real reason why high schools had set up an entrance test. Apart from obtaining clear assessment results, it was also for identifying potential genius. By the time Wang Ling's batch graduated, the number of students who would be able to break out of the foundation establishment stage to become a master at the Golden Core stage, Golden Core transformation rate, would have a direct impact on the school's reputation. More importantly, it would be a critical evaluation criterion in the school's application to become a key high school at a later date. On the dais, a middle-aged examiner with a sharp face said slowly, over the years in our number 60 high school, the success rate for attaining Golden Core has been 2 in 10,000. That is to say, out of 10,000 students, there might be two in their graduating year who will be able to become what people in the modern age all dream of, Golden Core Masters. They in turn can take their dreams of reaching the nascent soul stage to a better university. I hope that in the next three years, every student here will work hard, aim high, and strive toward becoming a qualified successor of cultivation principles. Two in 10,000 might sound a little embarrassing, but number 60 high school recruited just under 300 students each year, after all. Wang Ling knew that this wasn't too terrible a statistic, since some of the worst schools couldn't even achieve that. Next, we shall begin with the strength test. Everyone, please put on your VR glasses for phase one of the test. With a roll book in his hand, one of the examiners cleared his throat slightly and called out a name. First candidate, Lotus Sunday. Chapter 3 You are listening at NovelFull.audio Sky, Swallowing Toad Translator Henny Editor Jules Nye It was the Cultivation Year 4396 VR, Virtual Reality Technology, was now highly developed and was put to use in all major high schools. At the same time, VR equipment was indispensable for conducting exams in ordinary foundation establishment high schools. VR equipment with built that IN spirit energy sensors perfectly transmitted all kinds of data on the user's spirit energy to the system and reflected it back into the virtual environment. Of course, the equipment would be even more advanced in a key city high school. The technology was a fusion of holograms and cultivation talismans which could warp time and space in an instant, switch between scenes smoothly, and simulate a real environment as well as feelings of pain. But Wang Ling was indifferent to all of this. No matter how advanced the simulation technology was, it was still only simulating the cultivation environment at the foundation establishment stage. Wang Ling wouldn't feel the slightest bit of pain, even if he stood still for a demon king to punch him in the chest. This was because he had already long attained a sage body. That year, he had just turned nine years old. For Wang Ling, 
what he needed to pay the most attention to was how to pull back his aura precisely. Otherwise, his highly intense magnetic energy field would interfere with the virtual glasses due to the huge gap in realms, and could result in the system crashing. To prepare for the placement test, he had been assiduously practicing holding back his aura at home in the last few days, and had already destroyed hundreds of virtual glasses. At that moment, Lotus Sun had already put on the glasses, and everyone else could clearly see what was happening to her on a screen on the side. She was up against a virtual demon, a gigantic toad. This toad was modeled on one of the beasts in the demon rampage six years ago, a demon king called Sky. Swallowing Toad That year, the person who had defeated this demon king was a graduate of number 60 high school, the legendary Ajwa. In the thousands of years since number 60 high school had been established, Ajwa was perhaps the most formidable talent the school had ever nurtured. While he came from an impoverished background, he had shown brilliant talent. When he was very young, the headmaster of number 60 high school had taken one look at him before taking him in as his disciple, thus granting him direct entry into the school. The year Ajwa graduated, he had only been 18 years old, but was already an unparalleled master at the late Golden Core stage. After that, Ajwa joined the general administration of 100 cultivation schools as deputy director, becoming the youngest director in its history. But at the time, he had only been well known in a small region. It was his dazzling performance during the Demon Rampage six years ago that truly made him a great name. At that time, Ajwa had released a burst of chi from one finger, which shot thousands of dot li through the air to kill the sky dot swallowing toad as it emerged from the gate between worlds to besiege the city. In one stroke, Ajwa became known to the world after this battle. From then on, number 60 high school would use the sky dot swallowing toad directly in their assessments. On one hand, it was in honor of Ajwa, on the other hand, it called for all students to look to him as a role model. As a result, the toad could be found in almost every school exam, so number 60 high school alumni jokingly called it the devil toad. After the system update, I heard that the sky dot swallowing toad assessment was also upgraded. That's right. When Ajwa killed the sky dot swallowing toad, he also gained possession of its primordial spirit. Unfortunately, the school's equipment back then didn't have the capability to transmit its spirit into the system. Now that the system has been updated, we uploaded the sky dot swallowing toad spirit into the system's data core for a perfect simulation. One of the examiners gazed at the colossal cyan creature on the virtual battlefield, and frowned deeply in spite of himself. I'm afraid that even for Lotus Sun, this might still be difficult to handle. O.org Although the school had set up the sky dot swallowing toad assessment by level of difficulty, the system's core was still based on data from the the sky dot swallowing toad spirit in order to simulate an actual environment, so the test was harder compared with last year. At present, this sky dot swallowing toad was still at the middle foundation establishment stage. The test result would be far from satisfactory if Lotus Sun failed to discover its weak point at the very start in order to deal it critical damage. Everyone's eyes were fixed on Lotus Sun, while Wang Ling gave a big yawn as he looked at the screen. Apart from being at the foundation establishment stage at the very least, dealing with this sky dot swallowing toad and causing sufficient damage also required real aptitude. Wang Ling's current abilities of perception far outclassed that of scientific instruments. His eyes were like a portable radiation machine, with just one look, he could determine the meridian levels of every single person in the room. 250.6 meridians needed to be opened up to fully realize the foundation establishment stage, and 70% of Lotus Sun's meridians were already open. Even if she was unlucky and unable to deal critical damage, her grade wouldn't be too terrible. With everyone watching her, Lotus Sun stared at the gigantic demon and took a deep breath. She then made a tight fist and bolted forward bravely. With an explosive cracking sound, she struck directly at the sky. Swallowing Toad's abdomen. This was the exact spot where Ajwa had landed the killing blow back then. Boom. After that one hit, 
there were still several wisps of smoke wafting out of Lotus Sun's fist. This was the best proof of the powerful friction that had been generated between her fist and the air, showing that she had used all her strength in that one blow. Before long, a huge S appeared in the virtual void. Classmate Lotus Sun's one blow actually got an S grade. Someone cried out in surprise. Seeing this, the three examiners couldn't stop blushing with shame. It appeared that they had been worried about Lotus Sun for nothing. She had actually obtained an S grade straight away. But as the future successor of the Huaguo Water Curtain Group, her dazzling performance was truly to be expected. After the system upgrade, according to the existing general data, only 1% of past examinees had obtained an S grade, 5% an A grade, and 10% a B grade, while the rest of the examinees had obtained even proportions of C, D, and F grades. The number of examinees who had obtained the higher SS grade, or even SSS grade, was so small that the data was negligible. After recording Lotus Sun's grade, the examiners looked at the roll book and called out the next name. Second candidate, Wang Ling. Please come forward to take the test. Bored stiff, Wang Ling raised his head. He hadn't expected that it would be his turn so soon. Directly ignoring Lotus Sun's small smile at him as she left the dais, Wang Ling carefully put on the virtual glasses. He had pulled his spirit energy as far back as it could go, to avoid destroying the machine the instant he put the glasses on. Fortunately, after crushing hundreds of glasses in the last few days, his experience this time round could be considered a pass for Wang Ling. But as it turned out, the biggest problem was still to come. He stared at the enormous cyan toad in front of him. To be honest, this was a little unexpected for Wang Ling. Because in the demon rampage six years ago, the sky. Swallowing toad which legendary Ajua had killed with his sky dot parting ability. Actually, back then, it was Wang Ling who had killed it, on his way to the shops. That year, he was ten years old. Chapter 4 You are listening at Novel Full. Audio. The 1.in.8 Point Million Imperial Aura Translator. Henyi Editor. Jules Nye The Demon Rampage six years ago was perhaps one of the gravest catastrophes that Huaxiao Nation had ever faced since its founding. Failure to properly contain residual spirit energy had resulted in the contamination of the fabric of space, creating holes in the space barrier which allowed the demon world to take advantage of the gate between worlds. The demon rampage that year had been so devastating that in one night, Huaxiao Nation had made economic losses that ran into tens of billions. The strangest thing was that the demons had retreated as quickly as they had come, but those few days had given rise to several heroic cultivators who had then been honored with the title of Huaxiao Nation's Cultivator of the Year. Ad Chua, who had killed the fifth-ranked sky-swallowing toad with his sky-parting skill, had been one of them. Apart from him, Wang Ling remembered that there were nine other individuals who had been granted that honor, but he couldn't recall their names. He remembered that it had initially been a sunny and cloudless day. Wang Ling had been walking alone down the street in the capital of Huaxiao Nation, Star City. He lived in a small villa 30,000 li away from the city center, in a mixed urban and rural area right on the fringes of Star City. Although it was very far away, it had only taken Wang Ling around five minutes at full speed to reach the city center. And as for his reason for traveling thousands of li to Star City, he had just wanted to buy a limited edition crispy noodle snack. Wang Ling remembered that small raccoon crispy noodle snacks had released a limited edition collection card that day, which was only being circulated in Star City. If you found the limited edition raccoon flashcard in your snack packet, you would be able to enjoy free crispy noodle snacks for the next 200 years. For Wang Ling, this had truly been an offer too tempting to resist. In his memory, the value of these crispy noodle snacks was higher than even the priceless magic objects sold at the market. Because no matter how expensive these objects were, or how rare the material used in their making, they only lasted minutes in Wang Ling's hands before he broke them. But crispy noodle snacks were different. Even if they broke into pieces, he could still happily gorge himself on them, and satisfy his desire for good food. 
From a young age, Wang Ling had always thought that the inventor of crispy noodle snacks deserved to be given an award for them. Just as he was hurrying to the small raccoon crispy noodle snacks flagship store, a well-established business that had been around for some 800 years, the gate between worlds had split the air without warning, suddenly opening with a loud boom in the sky. This moment would be forever etched in Wang Ling's memory. The split in the sky had happened directly above the store, and the violent vibrations and gravitational waves it caused had leveled the big store in an instant. Already Wang Ling couldn't recall much of what he had been feeling at that time. The only thing he remembered was that he had been so angry, and he had looked impatiently for something to vent his resentment on. And so it was at that moment when something large had fallen from the sky. It had a bulky and thick cyan dot colored torso, and an insufferably arrogant air as it dropped down in front of Wang Ling. Its compass dot sized pupils had flickered with a strange luster, it was a massive, cyan dot colored toad. This was probably the biggest monster Wang Ling had seen since he was born. The instant its 300 dot foot long body landed on the ground, it raised a dust cloud that stretched out for 50 li around. This poor sky dot swallowing toad, however, had been very unlucky to have encountered Wang Ling. How the hell was it to know what was going to happen to it? The sky dot swallowing toad hadn't even finished its loud cry before Wang Ling had already pierced through its abdomen with one punch. It fell to the ground, and in the moment that its spirit was drawn out, the sky dot swallowing toad had taken a look at the person who had killed it in one blow. A child just ten years old. At that moment, ten thousand grass mud dot horses dot had galloped through the sky dot swallowing toad's heart. Mother of asterisk asterisk cur, what the hell was up with this planet? With the last trace of its spirit energy, the sky dot swallowing toad had warned the monsters on the other side of the gate not to approach this world. Thus, the reason why the demons had retreated so quickly six years ago was inevitably linked to Wang Ling. As for how Ah Jua came to be credited with killing the sky dot swallowing toad, and the awards presentation after. Wang Ling had no idea. He only remembered being heartbroken for a long time over the loss of that distinguished, hundreds dot of dot years dot old flagship store which sold crispy noodle snacks. This time, standing once again in front of a system dot modified, scaled dot down version of the sky dot swallowing toad, Wang Ling was feeling a mix of emotions. He had anticipated that number 60 high school was bound to make a big deal of Aj was glorious deed in killing the sky dot swallowing toad. However, he had never accounted for the possibility that number 60 high school had actually gotten hold of its spirit and had even transmitted it into the system database in order to create a more authentic simulation. This was the aura that had killed it with one blow. Even though it had been reduced to this, the sky dot swallowing toad had definitely never forgotten it. Even though six years had passed, the sky dot swallowing toad still recognized Wang Ling as he stood in front of it once again. And so, the instant the toad saw Wang Ling, it immediately turned petrified. There was not a single monster who wanted to be hit twice by such a freak. Would his punch this time destroy the last of its remaining spirit? Honestly speaking, Wang Ling had no idea what to do when faced with the sky dot swallowing toad again. While he was hesitating, the sky dot swallowing toad made the first move, and fell to the ground with a boom. And, well, that was it. Wang Ling, dot. The sky dot swallowing toad's four legs were pointed to the sky, and it rolled its eyes emphatically. The system gave its evaluation right away, SSS. Everyone cried out in surprise. What the hell? What is going on? Student Wang hasn't even thrown a punch yet. Could it be a system error? One examiner's jaw had dropped at what he was seeing. That shouldn't be possible. All the equipment was checked yesterday, and there definitely hadn't been any issues. I got it. Another examiner yelled excitedly, could it be? Is this the legendary killer gaze? Wang Ling, dot. Sky dot swallowing toad. Dot. That can be the only possibility. 
Yet another examiner said solemnly, legends speak of some talented people who possessed this special ability. They can make monsters dizzy with the aura in their gazes. It's also mentioned in the Cultivation Encyclopedia. I'm, im. Imperial Aura. At this moment, the three examiners drew in sharp breaths, and were actually so excited they started to cry freely. Yes. It had to be. This could be the only explanation for why Wang Ling was able to knock the toad out just by staring at it. While Wang Ling was at a loss, one examiner came up to him and grasped his hand tightly. Student Wang, you are the future hope of our number 60 high school. Dot. According to the regulations, student Wang will be directly admitted into our number 60 high school's elite class. Dot. Let us give student Wang Ling a round of applause, and we look forward to him performing even greater feats at number 60 high school. Dot, dot. The red setting sun cast a long shadow as Wang Ling walked home in solitude. His eyes swept over the letter for admittance into the elite class, personally presented to him by number 60 high school's director of education. At that moment, in Wang Ling's heart, he didn't know whether he should be cursing mother f asterisk asterisk cur or not. Chapter 5 You are listening at Novel Full. Audio. Someone else's child translator. Henyi editor. Jules Nye since childhood, Wang Ling had kept a very low profile, and had always avoided being in the spotlight. Of course, there were exceptions, such as the placement test. For this official evaluation, he had even specially researched how to control his own magnetic field so that it wouldn't crush the machine used in the test. Yet no matter how hard he had tried to find a way to keep a low profile, in the end he had still been admitted into the elite class. How on earth was he supposed to bring this up? At dinner, Wang Ling absent dot mindedly chewed a mouthful of rice, and couldn't help looking upward as he heaved a deep sigh. Why was it so hard to be a bad student nowadays? He definitely couldn't count on his parents to understand his pain. The buffoon couple goggled at the letter for admittance into the elite class, personally presented to Wang Ling by the school's director of education. With eyes as large as gongs, they scanned the letter from top to bottom, afraid to miss a single word. After a while, the middle dot aged man, who still looked fairly good for his age with a small mustache and slicked dot back hair, took off his black dot rimmed glasses and cupped his chin in his hands as he looked at Wang Ling, student Wang Ling, I think we should have a word. Although he was very unwilling to acknowledge this man, who until now had yet to reach the foundation establishment stage, as his own father, Wang Ling still very obediently put down his chopsticks. No prizes for guessing, Wang Ling already knew what Father Wang was going to say. His first sentence would definitely be, You've really let me down. And as expected, he had guessed right. You've really let me down. Father Wang let out a deep sigh and pinched his mustache as he said, Couldn't you do a little worse in your test? You get such good grades every time, it's very awkward for your mother and me. Wang Ling wordlessly rolled his eyes. It wasn't like he deliberately set out to do so well. Like what happened today, it was totally an act of God. You should know that until now, your mother and I have not yet reached the foundation establishment stage. But you. Now there's nonsense talk on the street. At this point, Father Wang covered his face, and even sobbed. Not only are people saying that we picked you up off the street, some are even saying that I've been cuckolded. Wang Ling, dot. Next time, just don't try so hard in your test. Or just directly hand in a blank paper, don't listen to your mother about practicing moderation or whatever. All of that is sheer nonsense. Dot. Wang Ling was speechless. He had never tried hard on any of his tests, all right. Father Wang sighed. If you get such good grades again, be careful that I don't spank you. Hearing this, Wang Ling's face turned black, and he straightaway broke his chopsticks. Dot. Seeing this, Father Wang trembled. God damn it, I just bought these Ninth Heaven Black Iron Chopsticks two days ago, and already another pair is broken. Forget it, forget it, 
Ling Ling still can't control himself. Why would you bring this up when we're eating? Compared with Father Wang, Mother Wang's attitude toward this had always been to let nature take its course, between the two of them, they always embarrassed Wang Ling. More than that, we need to hurry up and teach Ling Ling how to control his strength, and it's also more important that he eats well. Another pair of chopsticks broken. Manufacturers nowadays, the quality is just getting worse and worse. Mother Wang sighed woefully, their household expenditure was going to increase again. From a young age, Wang Ling had always had immense strength in his hands. After he broke that large sword at the age of one, father and mother Wang had changed almost all of their furniture, worried that Wang Ling would break them if he wasn't careful, if it wasn't made out of black jade, then it was made out of black iron, and even black diamond. Looking at the broken pair of black iron chopsticks, the Wang couple couldn't help the mix of emotions that welled up in them. When they had been teaching Wang Ling how to use chopsticks, thousands of pairs had been sacrificed to the cause. This could all be summed up in a single phrase. Pain in the ass. But this phrase had been a constant for almost all of Wang Ling's life, things were a pain so often that he had gotten used to it. After reaching the super high cultivation realm that everyone dreamed about, what then? Make 100. million. be wife performing tricks on the streets. Sure, Wang Ling could smash towering mountains with his chest, but there weren't that many mountains around for him to smash. And nowadays, natural resources everywhere were protected by the nation, smashing a mountain would get you three years in prison at the very least, or the death penalty at most. Power to dominate everything. Ambition to rule the planet. Sure, Wang Ling had the strength to do all that, but he would prefer to stay home and read comics. Unlimited magical powers, the great ability to turn time and space upside down. Sure, Wang Ling could open up a spatio.temporal channel with his strength. But if he was caught by the spatial.temporal supervisor, considering how small their family estate was, any punishment he received could reduce them to ruin and poverty in an instant. All in all, reaching a super high cultivation realm was not as relaxing or uncomplicated as one might have imagined. Even if he was the king of cultivation, so what? He still had to deal with nonsense big and small every day, and make meticulous plans for keeping a low profile in order to avoid bringing disaster upon his muggle parents. Wang Ling looked at the table full of dishes. As he ate a final mouthful of rice, he silently heaved a deep sigh. My heart is exhausted. At his current realm, he could theoretically stop eating and it wouldn't affect him, since he only needed to absorb a bit of spirit energy from nature every day. For him, eating now was purely a formality. After returning to his bedroom, what Wang Ling liked to do most was lie on his small bed in the middle of the night and quietly look at a sky full of stars through his ceiling skylight. It was only during this time that the noise in Wang Ling's ears would subside a little. Even though he couldn't completely block out the effects of his mind, reading ability, they were just a low murmur in his ears during this time. Compared with what it was like during the day, he felt that this was already pretty peaceful. Many times, he had wondered if he was actually from another world. But ironclad evidence from DNA tests had dispelled his doubts when he was still very young. This muggle couple that was into public displays of affection were his real biological parents. The most frightening thing in the world wasn't making progress and growing every day, it was if that rate of progress never seemed to end. When he was younger, Wang Ling had attempted to figure out the limits of his realm. It wasn't until he was older that he realized that such limits simply didn't exist for him. With a consistent increase in his realm at a rate of one stage every two years, he couldn't tell what the end for him was, and for a time, he had found this very terrifying. But now, what terrified him more was his future high school life. Who the hell knew what was going to happen to him? Dot he had initially planned to enter school quietly, but because of a freak combination of factors, he had been admitted into the elite class. And then there was Lotus Sunday, already he knew that she was going to be a troublesome person. At first, he hadn't planned for their paths to cross often, but this trouble had already arrived on his doorstep. Sitting upright on the bed, 
Wang Ling rubbed the skin between his eyebrows as his head hurt. Shortly after that, he stretched out one arm to take out a bag of snacks from his drawer. Regardless what happens tomorrow. At that moment, Wang Ling had decided. Let's eat some crispy noodle snacks first to chase the uneasiness away. Chapter 6 You are listening at NovelFull.audio The First Day of School Translator Henyi Editor Jules Nye It was the first day of school at Number 60 High School. Oh, no, to be more precise, it was the first day of Foundation Establishment High School nationwide. Huashio Nation's education policy had always adhered to the no rules, no order motto. Based on a cultural heritage thousands of centuries old, this adage definitely wasn't just for show. Getting to school on time, attending morning classes, eating lunch, leaving school, wearing the compulsory school uniform. All of these had already long existed in well-preserved historical books on school rules and regulations dating back hundreds of years. Last night, while Wan Ling had been eating his crispy noodle snack, the uniform had been sent to his home via space delivery. The school uniform was blue and white in color, and looked like sportswear. There was even a specially printed word on the back of the uniform, a large delete, for the elite class. Although he had already prepared himself mentally, Wang Ling still couldn't help drawing in a sharp breath at the uniform style. He understood the reasoning behind it. It was normal for an established culture that was thousands of centuries old, or for promoting ethnic culture, or whatever. But couldn't their damn sense of style have also improved a little bit? What the hell was up with the elite on the back of the uniform? A privilege for the elite class. Looking at it from all sides, Wang Ling felt that the inspiration for the uniform was definitely copied off the ancient prison uniform for death row inmates 30,000 years ago, which typically had the word dead printed on the front and back. However, you couldn't say that there weren't any improvements. Almost all the pockets on the uniform were space storage, their capacities so large they would almost never be completely filled. This was a true achievement in line with Huashio Nation's education policy, which for thousands of years had aimed to reduce the burden on students. Clearly though, this wasn't the main point. For Wang Ling, the heaviest burden of all was how he was going to face the worst F asterisk asterisk King Day tomorrow. From the Wang family's small villa in its mixed urban and rural area, it was 10,000 li to number 60 high school. Almost as fast as the wind, Wang Ling ran full steam along country lanes until he arrived at the school gate in under two minutes. After all, he had once run 30,000 li to buy crispy noodle snacks when he had been younger. For him, this distance of 10,000 li was just too relaxing, his face wasn't red, nor was he out of breath. As today was the first day of school, members of the guidance office along with several school leaders were greeting new students in person at the gate. Just as Wang Ling was about to turn a corner, he could hear a few people chatting from afar. I heard that a new student received a SSS grade yesterday. That's right, Headmaster Chen. The student is called Wang Ling, and has already joined the elite class. I see. Seems like this student is sure to accomplish much in the future. Is student Wang Ling a male or female student? asked Headmaster Chen. A male student. Headmaster Chen's expression was full of regret. Ah, male students nowadays are already very perceptive. If this student Wang Ling had been a girl, I wouldn't have mind calling her to my office to personally instruct her in her learning. Behind him, each and every one of the school leaders and officers sighed with regret all over their faces. Wang Ling, dot. After tidying up his uniform, Wang Ling calmly walked through the school gate, bowing and saluting without being recognized by anyone. This was because, when he had been running Helter dot Skelter for no. 60 High School, he had already used one of the 3,000 great spells, the Great Transfiguration spell. Compared with an ordinary disguise technique, the biggest difference was that this powerful ability could completely alter appearances, fingerprints, and DNA, and couldn't be detected by even the most advanced technology. 
On the other hand, the disguise technique was based on an ancient method of makeup application which would immediately be detected by any electronic eye on the street, swiftly triggering a police alert. In this way, Wang Ling successfully slipped into school after escaping the notice of the various leaders at the school gate. Although it was obviously a tiresome effort, he felt that it was worth it. For Wang Ling, all cheers and applause were superfluous. From a young age, what he had always hoped for the most was a peaceful environment where he could study quietly. Unfortunately, none of his F asterisk asterisk king wishes had ever come true. Some people said that when God closed one door, he inevitably opened a window. In Wang Ling's case, it was obviously a more wretched situation. God not only opened both the door and window for him, he even summoned a ferocious sandstorm outside the window. Grade 1, Class 3 was located on the first floor of the number 60 high school teaching building. Location.wise, outside the front door of the classroom was the female toilets, while outside the back door was the male toilets. At the same time, it was the class closest to the school canteen. Every time school let out for lunch at noon, a horde of elites could be seen bolting ahead to the battlefield with their tableware raised. It was a magnificent scene beyond compare. Unlike schools in the old days, there were now less courses but longer class periods, which were rigorously aligned with the trend of the modern cultivation age. Fitness and strength training were a given, and basic courses like drawing talismans, producing spirit water, refining pills and so on would take up all of Wang Ling's time in senior grade 1. Senior grade 1 was when students learned the important basics. Although Wang Ling had already learned all this himself when he was still in the womb, he still had to pretend to know nothing, obediently attend every class, then do his best to get average grades. It was a real pain in the ass for him, having to constantly consider these petty things. Making friends had always been Wang Ling's weak point. Number 60 High School had two elite classes, and there were 15 students in his class. After an emotionally tiring morning of selecting a class committee, Wang Ling could probably only remember a handful of names. The brunt of it was the person who had been unanimously elected class monitor, Lotus Sunday Huaguo Water Curtain Group's young miss, who was at the late foundation establishment stage, presented herself as the standard for the beautiful, modern dot day maiden. She did her utmost to display the image of a beautiful, elegant and graceful girl. But while she appeared perfectly flawless, there was enough drama in her heart to write an epic soap opera about bitter family feuds that had never been seen before in the history of Huaxiu Nation. The second was Super Chen, who was in charge of sports activities. He was at the peak late foundation establishment stage, and was one of the strongest young men with the greatest potential to break through to the Golden Core stage. Born into an old martial arts family, Super Chen was a muscular man obsessed with keeping fit and bodybuilding. He was probably the most energetic and exuberant person in the whole school, his blood always boiling at some random thing or other, leaving people feeling strangely stirred up and moved. The third was Hiroguo, the political science representative at the late foundation establishment stage. His family operated a pet shop, which had evolved into a sole beast business in his great-grandfather's generation. He frequently carried around a parrot called Dopey, and together they would put on a two-dot man show, sometimes critiquing current affairs, sometimes lamenting the state of the nation and its people. He was also known as Gossip Central for all the classes. People had given him the nickname Master of Dopey. The fourth person was also the one that Wang Ling was most wary of, Li Xianjing. While it sounded like a girl's name, he was a rough dot looking fellow who was 190 centimeters tall. Like his dot name, he was a man of few words, and perhaps the most unremarkable person in the class. Most crucially, Wang Ling realized that his mind, reading ability couldn't be used on him, and he completely couldn't read the other boy's thoughts. This type of situation was rare, and there were only two instances where Wang Ling would be prevented from reading minds. The first was if someone was carrying a powerful magic treasure that blocked out the signal from Wang Ling's spirit energy. The second was if someone was simple or pure enough, and didn't have a single scheming bone in their body. 
Whatever the case, in Wang Ling's eyes, Li Xianjing was a ticking time bomb that could explode any time, which was completely detrimental to his plan to hide his identity. All in all, these were the four people around whom Wang Ling was going to have to be especially vigilant. After the period was over, the class was filled with loud bursts of laughter. Looking around his noisy environment, Wang Ling couldn't help but sigh silently. Trying to hide his identity in this wretched hot zone was going to be f asterisk asterisk king difficult. Glancing at the clock, Wang Ling took a book out of his space pocket. On talismans. And placed it on the table. Just then, the bell for the next class rang. Less than a second after that, a middle dot aged woman wearing gold dot rimmed glasses and her hair up in a ponytail stormed through the door and up onto the dais, slapping down the blue roll book in her hands. I could already hear all of you in the corridor when I was still in the office. You are the school's elites, making so much noise, whatever will you do next? This middle dot aged woman was Pan Xing Song, the teacher dot in dot charge of grade 1, elite class 3. At the same time, she was also the fifth person around whom Wang Ling needed to be more vigilant. Chapter 7 You are listening at Novel Full. Audio. The Great Teacher Pan Translator. Henyi Editor. Jules Nai Wang Ling had already long heard about the glorious deeds of Teacher Pan Xing Song. As a leading teacher at No. 60 High School who had come back to work after retirement, she had trained quite a number of students with the greatest potential of breaking through to the Golden Core stage. Unfortunately, though they were clearly only one step away from Golden Core, by the time they graduated, they hadn't been able to break through to that stage. But Teacher Pan was absolutely not to blame. As the saying went, you can lead a horse to water, but you cannot make it drink. If you are lazy to cultivate in your prime, you'll regret it in your old age. Despite countless cases of failure, teacher Pan Xing Tsong was able to clutch at one last straw the year she was going to retire, number 60 high school's legendary figure, Ad Chua. That's right, the legendary Ad Chua, who graduated from number 60 high school and who became famous for killing the sky. Swallowing toad with one blow, used to be teacher Pan's student. Because of this, the school leaders had the utmost trust in her. Thus, though she had the lowest realm of all the teachers that had returned to employment after retirement, she was the leading teacher with the highest salary. Whether or not this was the result of some back-door connection, Wang Ling didn't give a damn. He just hoped that Teacher Pan was a little more astute and wouldn't find trouble with him for no reason. After all, he was working hard to become a transparent existence. Like all teachers. In. Charge, Teacher Pan had sharp eyes and ears. For example, she had been able to hear the students in class laughing when she had still been far away in her office. Also, when she had walked down the corridor, she had seen that the students in the class next door were all diligently learning, but her own class was a mess. As a result, Teacher Pan was infuriated, as soon as she entered the class, she slapped the roll book down loudly making her dissatisfaction clear. This will be my 80th year teaching at number 60 high school. I've been in charge of 10 elite classes, and you are the 10th. Of all of them, you are the worst class that I've ever been in charge of. Everyone was taken aback at her words, but somehow felt like they'd heard them before. Nonetheless, as the most difficult female teacher in the history of number 60 high school, nobody dared to get on her bad side on the first day of school. Of course, Lotus Sun might be an exception. But Teacher Pan wasn't stupid enough to provoke her for no reason. She didn't know any of the other students, so in that situation, Teacher Pan swiftly looked for someone to be made an example of in front of everyone else, in order to demonstrate her authority as the teacher. In. Charge. Which one is student Wang Ling? Wang Ling was startled as everyone in the class turned in unison to look at him. Teacher Pan. It was you, I heard your voice just now in the corridor. Wang Ling, dot. No matter how any of you got here, whether by strength or luck, since you are already here in my class, I hope all of you elites take heed. You must not be late, nor can you leave early, and don't make a racket. If you really want to challenge me, I'll have no choice but to invite your parents to school. 
this was the typical routine before the start of a new class. As the taciturn one in class, Wang Ling had almost always experienced this unjust treatment from a young age. He remembered that the worst incident had been during Qi condensation prep class, when he had directly summoned a meteorite which had smashed into the sports field, causing classes to be suspended for three days. Luckily, Wang Ling had now already learned how to control his mood. Otherwise, if he really went crazy, even he himself would be afraid. Teacher Pan was mainly in charge of teaching the Tao Talismans course. Apart from some of the basics of making talismans, the bulk of it was aimed at teaching the elite class advanced content. Cinnabar, yellow talisman paper, spirit water and a writing brush, these were the four basic raw materials for drawing a talisman. The elite class didn't spend as much time on the course basics, so the class moved at a much quicker pace. It was just the first class, but Teacher Pan had already brought the four main raw materials with her as she lectured, I don't know if any of you have drawn a talisman before, but in my class, we're going to start from scratch. Now, I'm going to teach you how to draw a ghost.summoning talisman. The ghost.summoning talisman, as its name suggested, was a talisman for summoning ghosts, and belonged to the summoning category of talismans. Compared with other attack, defense, function type or seal talismans, the ghost.summoning talisman might sound frightening, but of all the basic talismans, it was the easiest one to make. Even newbies had quite a high chance of successfully making one. After she spoke, Teacher Pan mixed the cinnabar with spirit water, spread open the yellow talisman paper, and lifted her writing brush. Now I'm going to show you how to draw a ghost.summoning talisman. Everyone's eyes were fixed on Teacher Pan as she skillfully lifted the writing brush and seemed to draw randomly on the yellow talisman paper. Just like that, a standard talisman was successfully created. The last step was to gather spirit energy and toss the talisman up into the air. In the next moment, they witnessed a miracle. The ghost.summoning talisman, which had been floating in the air, suddenly froze, and in the next instant, burst with a soft glow. Everyone could see a transparent silhouette hovering in the air. This thing was the so dot called ghost. Teacher Pan pointed at the greenish gray thing and said, I controlled the release of my spirit energy. What you are seeing now is the weakest of all ghosts, the hollow spirit, which doesn't have any killing intent. Because novice students can't control their spirit energy, they are likely to summon more aggressive spirits of a higher rank. But you don't have to worry, if anything unexpected happens, I will personally deal with it. Since I've already summoned this hollow spirit, I'll explain simply how to release it. As she spoke, she dipped the tip of her forefinger into the blend of spirit water and cinnabar on the table, then quickly swiped at the area between the hollow spirit's eyebrows. The hollow spirit let out a wretched cry and was instantly torn into two parts, which turned into wisps of vapor that then vanished. The area between the eyebrows is a ghost's weak point. Cultivators can easily release ghosts using a blend of spirit water and cinnabar, with the addition of a little more spirit energy. As for what is available in the market, to throw salt, use urine or chicken blood. All these are completely untrustworthy. Teacher Pan waved her hand, and light flowed through the air as the four raw materials for making a talisman were distributed to each student. Now you can get to work, and follow the steps I just demonstrated. And that was it. The classroom completely exploded, as all kinds of ghosts were summoned. The hollow spirit which Lotus Sun summoned was a female student who had slipped and fallen from the top of the number 60 high school building. Technically speaking, this female ghost was their senior sister. Super Chen summoned an ancient headsman who still had nine knives stuck in his head. He had died when the family members of a prisoner on death row had stormed the execution ground, and in the confusion, the headsman had been stabbed to death. Master of Dopey Hirogwa summoned a skeleton dog with no flesh on its bones at all, drawing strong condemnation from the dog lovers in class. There was a saying that the purer a person was in mind and heart, the easier it was to attract dirty things. This just happened to be verified by what the class commissary in charge of studies, Little Peanut, summoned. 
It was a hollow spirit that had already completely evolved into a malicious ghost. It had bloodshot eyes, one of which was hanging out of its socket, and it emitted an incredibly strong sense of resentment. But as one of the vanguard teachers who had been at No. 60 High School for ages, Teacher Pan was worthy of her reputation. It seemed that the instant the malicious ghost appeared, she had already dashed forward. She pulled at the eyeball until it snapped off, and in front of everyone present, she crushed it in her hands. In their hearts, everyone gasped in admiration. Dot. So F asterisk asterisk King Tough. Almost the whole class had successfully used the materials on hand to create a summoning. Wang Ling was the only person who was slow to act. He had already taught himself this skill when he was still in the womb. It wasn't the least bit difficult, the number of talismans that Wang Ling could draw were probably more than what all the school teachers combined could produce. Dot the most difficult bit lay in the fact that he could not precisely control the release of his spirit energy. Staring at the four raw materials on the table, Wang Ling was lost in deep thought. Who the hell knew what he would summon? Chapter 8 You are listening at Novel Full. Audio. The Mysterious Legend of Number 60 High School Translator. Henyi Editor. Jules Nye Everyone had probably heard the same legend from a young age, Number 60 High School used to be a graveyard. Although Wang Ling had no way of officially checking whether this was true or not, the fact was that he could tell that the ground he was treading on really used to be a graveyard. The price for graveyard land had always been cheap, and 600 years ago, this land had been acquired by the government's education department, which was when Number 60 High School had been built. Wang Ling's hair stood on end at the thought. Number 60 High School sports field used to be part of the graveyard. Now, energetic students jumped around every morning to the 250th set of radio. Gymnastics, which was no different to disco dancing on burial mounds. This would explain why so many bizarre things had shown up in their Dao Talismans class. In short, it was reasonable for Wang Ling to be worried. He was unable to precisely control the release of his spirit energy. In addition, Number 60 High School used to be a graveyard. With these two deadly factors combined, Wang Ling couldn't guarantee that he wouldn't summon some weird ghost that Teacher Pan wouldn't be able to deal with. Noticing that Wang Ling was slow to act, Teacher Pan slowly strolled over, her hands clasped behind her back. In her mind, if it wasn't because Wang Ling had good luck, then it was a bug in the system at the time which had enabled him to join the elite class. In fact, he seemed to be a real slacker. Why aren't you drawing a talisman? Or was there something you didn't understand from earlier? I can guide you through it. Didn't understand. That was simply insulting his intelligence. In his mind, Wang Ling silently rolled his eyes at Teacher Pan. This was a matter of life and death. What did she know? But in this situation, he wasn't the one making the decisions. While staying low. Key was the most important thing, he also didn't want to be pointed out by people as the loser who had snuck into the elite class by luck. Staring deeply at the yellow talisman paper, Wang Ling exhaled, then lifted the writing brush. At this moment, he could only try his best to control the release of his spirit energy. The moment the talisman was completed, Wang Ling was already holding his breath. The people around him watched eagerly, looking forward to a show. Like for everyone else, the yellow talisman floated in the air for a moment, and was then followed by a dazzling light. Then, a monstrous, cyan-colored silhouette appeared in front of everyone's eyes. In an instant, Teacher Pan turned petrified. The surrounding students turned petrified. Even Wang Ling himself turned petrified. The sky. Swallowing Toad had never expected that through this method, for the third time in its life, it would be confronted with the person whose existence was like a shadow over it. Given Wang Ling's strength, if he couldn't control his spirit energy, the chances were high that he would summon an imperial. Ranked ghost. And in number 60 high school, the highest ranked ghost was its damn self. After its spirit had been sealed, the sky. Swallowing toad had exhausted all its options before a sliver of its soul had broken off and was able to escape the seal. 
but little did it think that Wang Ling would actually summon it here again. At this moment, the poor toad's heart crumbled a little. Looking at Wang Ling, its cold sweat flowed non-stop. Rib bit. The moment it called out, the poor toad wanted to cry, but had no more tears left to shed. It had already detected Wang Ling's killing intent, if it made the slightest suspicious move, it didn't doubt at all that Wang Ling would speedily dispatch it without the slightest hesitation. In order to save the last sliver of its soul, the sky-swallowing toad would swallow any future humiliation it might face. So the toad let out the simplest croak to show that it was harmless. Who could have imagined? A monster that used to be a fifth-ranked demon king was now hard-pressed to the point that it had to rely on pretending to be a dumbass in order to prove that it wouldn't be a public nuisance. Wang Ling had never expected that through this method, for the third time in his life, he would be confronted with the existence that was like a shadow over him. The culprit who had screwed up his grand plan for 200 years worth of crispy noodle snacks had appeared before his eyes once again, and for the sake of holding on to what little life it had left, it was actually pretending to be a pet, submitting itself to the whims of others. He wanted to ask if this grand demon king still had any integrity left. But seeing this wretched appearance, Wang Ling really didn't have the heart to attack it. Even though all that remained of this fifth-ranked demon was its spirit, it was still a ferocious monster in the eyes of many. But this sky-swallowing toad was smart, with just one croak, its reputation was instantly wiped clean. It seems student Wang Ling and the sky-swallowing toad are fated to encounter each other. Thirty seconds after the sky-swallowing toad had appeared, Teacher Pan was still bewildered. She knew very well that with her current strength, it was unlikely that she would have been able to deal with this demon. But when it croaked, it completely set her mind at ease. It turned out that it was just a wretched creature too weak to even utter a word, then what the hell did she need to be frightened of? Don't worry, students, this demon is already too weak to fight back. I shall seal it. Upon saying that, Teacher Pan used immortal guidance to swiftly seize the sky-swallowing toad's remaining spirit with one hand, and the ghost of the skeleton dog with the other, as she prepared to fuse them together. Wang Ling knew very well what the outcome would be when an imperial-ranked monster was chemically fused with a low-ranked creature. The Demon King's substantial spirit energy would help reconstruct the puppy's corporeal body and also conveniently provided a physical body to inhabit. This was a win-win solution, on the one hand, the sky-swallowing toad's remaining spirit could be confined, and on the other, it could be seen to give the poor puppy that had been eaten after its death some closure. Of course, the sky-swallowing toad was aware what it meant to be fused with the ghost of the skeleton dog, its spirit energy would be massively reduced and it would completely become a dog. Should I go along with your act of complete ignorance, or should I act like everyone's favorite toad? In that moment, Wang Ling could almost hear the despair in the sky-swallowing toad's heart. Teacher Pan was indeed worthy of her reputation, as one of the vanguard teachers that had been at number 60 high school for ages. With smooth and natural skill, almost without pause, she fused the two spirits together. Everyone, I have subdued the demon. How unexpected, though its spirit was already sealed, a small part of its soul had broken off. But it's all right now, it has been confined to a physical body, so it can only use a very small amount of spirit energy. Pleased, Teacher Pan said, everyone, just take it as our class mascot from now on. In a halo burst of light, a brand new puppy with blue dot green fur appeared in front of everyone. Ah, it's a Japanese Akita. Lotus Sun's maiden heart instantly overflowed. But this dog's color is strange, why is it green? Probably because it was fused with the sky-swallowing toad. Master of Dopey pushed his glasses up, and sighed. We judge everything by appearance in this day and age. If you're good.looking, who's going to care about the color of your hair? Super Chen picked the Akita up in delight, and squeezed its fat cheeks. Shall we give him a name? How about? Loopy, Toad, Wang Ling, Dot. Loopy Toad. Dot. Hey, 
why is it so quiet? You should. Woof woof woof. Understand. You're a dog now, not a toad. Loopy toad. Dot. It looked silently at Wang Ling nearby, who had an indifferent look on his face. Only now did Loopy Toad suddenly realize, the most miserable thing to ever happen to it wasn't encountering Wang Ling three times, but that though it was very angry, in front of Wang Ling, it had to keep smiling. Chapter 9 You are listening at Novel Full. Audio. Loopy Toad and Dopey the Parrot Translator. Henyi Editor. Jules Nye in this world, nothing could surpass the most miserable way to be reincarnated, which was into the wrong body. The example of Heavenly Marshal Zhu, Wuning Dot served as a warning, and Comrade Loopy Toad was unlucky enough to follow in his footsteps. It was a self-aware demon king that had struggled to get away with the last remnant of its spirit, but in the end had somehow been summoned into the classroom, then somehow forcefully fused with another spirit, and from a toad was reborn as a dog. This could be said to simply be an epic miracle of cross-species reincarnation, and was one step away from making history. After Loopy Toad had joined them, the atmosphere in class was clearly a lot lighter. It had already become the student's habit to rub its fat little cheeks after every class. Most importantly, Wang Ling realized that since Loopy Toad's arrival, his own existence had suddenly diminished. He was considerably satisfied with this. Therefore, he gave Loopy Toad tacit consent to continue existing. In the last few days, Master of Dopey Hirogua, whose family dealt in soul pets, had taken charge of specially training Loopy Toad to bark. This was the so dot called, take things as they come, or, when in Rome, do as the Romans do. Enthusiastically training a toad that had been transformed into a dog to bark was, no matter how you thought about it, truly mystifying. It wasn't until now that Loopy Toad realized that it had boarded a pirate ship with no hope of turning Dot back. These future flowers of the motherland were bulldozing a toad into barking, this was 2F** King Brutal and Inhuman. And so, everyone watched how Master of Dopey vigorously trained the dog. The Well Intention Master of Dopey had used up almost all of his time after school to collect all kinds of videos of dogs barking to show Loopy Toad. But it only ever had a dispirited expression on its face as it lay listlessly on the ground, showing completely no ambition to strive for the peak of a dog's life after being reborn as one. Then Master of Dopey thought that perhaps he was using the wrong approach in his teaching. Dot after all, in its previous life, Loopy Toad had been a majestic, fifth dot ranked demon king. To make a former demon king bark like a dog. If their positions were switched, Master of Dopey knew he would also feel extremely ashamed. And so, quick dot witted Master of Dopey came up with a brand new idea. The next day, everyone saw him carry a poster into the classroom, then tack it to the back door. Their jaws dropped. Why do you have a gods of honor poster? With a proud grin, Master of Dopey brought Loopy Toad over to the poster and pointed in one corner. See that. The heavenly dog. The god of dogs. It's unlikely that it loses out to your demon king status, so from now on, this should be your goal. Loopy Toad. Dot. Everyone. Dot. In the end, instead of Master of Dopey, it was Dopey the parrot as well as a female classmate, Feather Lin, that made Loopy Toad abandon its dignity and learn to bark like a dog. Feather Lin, who had caught Wang Ling's attention a week after the start of school, was the sixth person on his list of people around whom he had to be extra vigilant. He even felt that she was scarier than Teacher Pan, because she was a veteran. Fujoshi. As long as someone or something was male, Xiao Yu could accurately determine whether it was a Gong. Or a. Show. This was most apparent when Master of Dopey was coaching Loopy Toad, Feather Lin managed to turn Dopey and Loopy Toad, two different species with two different physiologies, into a couple, and even identified the. Gong. And the show. Most unexpectedly, Xiao Yu had actually assigned Loopy Toad, which looked like a very powerful. Gong. 
as a show. Loopy Toad naturally strongly condemned and protested this. As soon as class was over, Feather Lin started to play matchmaker against Loopy Toad's will. Look, from back then until now, sayings like crowing like a cock and stealing like a dog, chicken pieces and dog fragments, imitate the dog and steal the chicken, clay chickens and pottery dogs. The chicken and the dog have been recognized as a couple since ancient times. Loopy Toad. Dot. Screw chicken. This was clearly AF asterisk asterisk King Parrot. Seeing her bullshit so seriously, Loopy Toad was so angry that it let out a woof. After all, when everything was said and done, it was still a dog. Even if its spirit prevented it from crying out, the body's muscle dot memory wouldn't change. Seeing how she had provoked Loopy Toad into finally barking, Feather Lin sneered a bit. Heh, turns out it's a dot Sundra. Show. Loopy Toad. Dot. At present, it had been a week since Wang Ling started school. A number of freak accidents had led to a deviation in his plan for his high school life. He had entered a class he shouldn't have entered, and met a bunch of dopes he shouldn't have met. Nevertheless, this could still be considered a tranquil environment. At the very least, that feeling of being under the spotlight from the entrance test had diminished significantly, in the face of powerful brainwashing due to the new loopy toad and dopey couple. But good times didn't last, and trouble was quick to arrive on his doorstep. On Friday after school, Wang Ling sensed something unusual in the air. He realized that someone was tailing him. Turning to look in his peripheral vision, he immediately noted the direction which that hostile gaze was coming from. This group of people were employing very advanced methods. They were using various high end anti dot tracking instruments, and had even resorted to various talisman formations to conceal their auras. Unfortunately, even with these sneaky methods, they still couldn't escape Wang Ling's perception. His eyes were a million times more sensitive than the most powerful laser scanner in the world, and his ears like a sound monitor in the Earth's core. Along with his mind reading ability, he could instantly lock onto any individual on Earth whenever he wanted. After all, with his current supreme realm, there was no one who could rival him at all. Young master, the target has been sighted leaving the school gate. A man in black glasses and a black suit walked over to a black supercar, a limited edition model in Huashio Nation, and bowed respectfully to the half dot opened window. Keep following him to his home address. Don't miss any clues. From the car window came a clear and cold voice. Yes, young master. But young master. Just as I was reporting to you, news has come in from ahead that the target has disappeared. Disappeared. Motherf asterisk asterisk cur. Was that person the flash? Why is young master insistent that we look for this person? The teenager at the car window sighed, a, you don't understand, expression on his face. In looking for Wang Ling, he had already spent six long years devoted to his search. Since the year of the demon rampage, he had been making discreet inquiries about this young boy, and only this year had he finally made some progress. Why are you looking for this person? The teenager in the car explained reluctantly, because, he is my. Shurfu. What? Young masters. Shurfu. The man in the suit and the old driver had the same astounded expressions on their faces. If there was anyone around to see who was inside the car, they would definitely have been shocked. Because this teenager wasn't just anybody, he was the current deputy director of the general administration of 100 cultivation schools, and an alumnus of No. 60 High School, the world.renowned legend, Ajwa. Chapter 10 You are listening at NovelFull.audio The Truth from Six Years Ago Translator Henyi Editor Jules Nai Wang Ling perhaps already didn't remember the demon rampage six years ago too clearly, but it was still fresh in Ajwa's mind. The truth was that when cultivator support rushed to the coordinates of the gate between worlds, the reported colossal, cyan.colored toad had already been defeated, there had been a bleeding hole in its white belly as its feet pointed up at the sky, 
and it was already dead. This was a fifth dot ranked demon, an all dot powerful demon king among all demons. Who the hell had done this? The cultivators on the battlefield discussed this excitedly. Attention, fellow Taoists. I sense an unusual aura up ahead. At that moment, someone suddenly made out a hazy silhouette within the smoke in front of them. Another person swiftly cast a cleansing spell to dispel the smoke. The spell cleared the smoke and dust away to reveal a ten-dot-year-dot-old child who was trembling, purely out of rage, as he stared at the sky-dot-swallowing toad in front of him. TCH, it's just a kid. Fellow Taoist, you're too nervous. A female cultivator with a motherly air embraced the trembling Wang Ling. Ten dot year dot old Wang Ling was just too cute for anyone to resist. Good boy, there's no need to be afraid, big sister will protect you. Wang Ling, dot. Looking at the mad woman crushing him against her melon dot sized boobs, Wang Ling didn't dare make any type of move. After his earlier outburst of spirit energy, he was still in an unstable state. Even the smallest movement of his fingers would blast her head into outer space. Fellow Taoist Silien, please let go of this dot Shoda. Look, you're suffocating him. Oops, so sorry about that. The female cultivator called Silien promptly released Wang Ling from her melons. Kid, tell Big Sister, how did this demon die? Of course, there had been no way Wang Ling was going to admit that he was the one who had killed the toad. At that time, he had just wanted to extricate himself from this troublesome situation as quickly as possible. So, he had randomly pointed at a person. And that person, who had emerged from the other side of the smoke with dust all over his face, happened to be Ajwa. Ajwa remembered back then that he had just been passing by when the blast of a gravitational wave had knocked him down beneath a collapsing building. After he had broken free of the rubble, for some reason, he had been recognized as the hero who had killed the demon king. Burdened with a heap of undeserved honors and fame exaggerated by public opinion, all these years, Ajwa had reflected on himself, no matter what, he had to stay true to his original will, and avoid being led astray by these empty halos. At the same time, he had continued investigating secretly, and it was only last year that the truth of the matter had started to emerge in bits and pieces. It was so incredibly vexing. No matter what, he had to chase down this person. And then, force this man to be his teacher. Wang Ling had never expected that Zhou Yi would actually investigate him. It looked like Aj was years of experience at the general administration of 100 schools had significantly hardened his dot wings. In fact, Wang Ling hadn't left, but had performed the great vanishing spell, which concealed his figure and aura. Taking up a position near Ajwa's supercar, he used his heavenly eye to look at all of Ajwa's memories. With regard to what had happened six years ago, Wang Ling truly didn't remember it very clearly anymore. But now it seemed that it had really become quite a prickly problem. Also, Ajwa's one dot sided wish to apprentice himself to Wang Ling was a real pain in the ass. He needed to find an opportunity to settle this sucky situation in a practical way once and for all, otherwise it would eventually turn into a disaster. Early Saturday morning was typically as peaceful as Wang Ling had expected, but it was just the calm before the storm. When he looked in the mirror that morning, he noticed his right eyelid twitching non-stop. It would be too na.ve to think that it was due to a lack of sleep. When Wang Ling's eyelid twitched, it was an omen of coming disaster. Nothing good had ever happened when his eyelid twitched. He recalled that six years ago before the demon rampage, his eyelid had twitched the whole night, but at the time he hadn't had any idea what it meant. Fortunately, after washing up, his eyelid finally stopped its frenzied twitching. He estimated that it had lasted for less than three minutes. Disaster level, two stars. This was Wang Ling's disaster dot rating scale, based on how long his eyelid would twitch for. Between 0 to 5 minutes. Disaster level was 2 stars. From 5 minutes to 1 hour. Disaster level of 3 stars. From 1 hour to 6 hours. 
disaster level of 4 stars. From 7 to 20.4 hours. Disaster level of 5 stars. Dot over 20.4 hours. Destruction of the planet. Over 40.8 hours. Annihilation of the universe. However, it was still within Wang Ling's abilities to deal with a 2-dot star disaster level. He glanced at the monster pen and goblin eraser on the table. After he had magically transformed these two stationary items into these two gremlins yesterday, they had spent the whole night finishing off his weekend homework. Now they were drooping in his stationary pouch, fast asleep. Everything felt right with the world today. Wang Ling looked outside the window, the light of the sun illuminated the world, the breeze sighed through the willows, the earth was still rotating on its axis, and the universe was still functioning. Never could he have expected the trouble he would encounter on such a peaceful weekend. After changing out of his white rabbit pajamas, Wang Ling left his room. Mother Wang had already prepared breakfast, a runny fried egg and two black pepper sausages, as always. Son, come and eat. Mother Wang seemed to be in a very good mood today. In an unprecedented move, Father Wang passed Wang Ling a black diamond fork without prompting. Handle it with care, don't break it. Wang Ling made an affirmative sound, and controlling his strength, he carefully pinched the fork with his fingers and raised it. Father Wang gave him a cryptic look, and smiled crookedly. Hurry up and eat, you have a date today, right? Date. Wang Ling raised his head. If it's not a date, please explain to me, why is there a Maserati supercar downstairs? Stunned, Wang Ling went to the balcony, only to see Lotus Sun waving at him from a distance, a smile as brilliant as a dot vileplums dot grin on her face. Dot. Motherf asterisk asterisk ker. Why did this person know where he lived? Wang Ling felt that the disaster level this time had been tremendously understated. When he returned to the dining table, Father Wang's face was brimming with rare joviality. Son, you don't have to explain, your father supports you. Dot. Father Wang grinned. The girl downstairs is so thoughtful, this morning she gave your mother a limited edition L'Oreal Youth Dot Retaining Elixir. Look at how happy your mother is. Dot. So you were bribed by a youth dot retaining elixir. If you don't come home tonight, be sure to stay safe. Father Wang gave a small grin. Stay safe. In every aspect. Wang Ling, dot. Right after that, Father Wang surreptitiously took out a box of condoms and pushed it toward Wang Ling, with a gratified, my son has grown up, expression on his face. Dot. Crack. Subconsciously, Wang Ling once again broke the black diamond fork in his hand. 